Learn to fight. Yo, John Fitch here, and I've got another episode of Learn to Fight for you. Uh, this episode is a little light in the loafers, but good example of your typical human today. I don't know if these, these guys are less than typical, but uh, they seem to be the average softness of a lot of people today. But uh, it's an example of, of, you know, again, why it's important to train. I put these videos together because I want to inspire you to take physicality seriously. You don't have to be world champion, but you should know how to defend yourself. You should know the basics. You should be basically physically fit to a base level where you can defend yourself. I think that's just bare minimum requirement for a good life and survival, okay? And uh, I have these videos to give you examples of reasons why uh, you should and hopefully give you some inspiration to get going or keep going because you don't, you don't want to look like one of these people <laughs> in one of these videos, all right? So this video we have, um, I don't know what's going on kicking off. Uh, some guys get into a skirmish outside along the sidewalk. There's cars coming by. It's not a safe situation to be in. There's no real threat, though. It's kind of like, I don't know if these guys are drunk, but they definitely don't really seem coordinated very much. It's an example of what people are capable of when they're emotional and they lose control and they want to fight you. So even if you don't want to fight, sometimes you got to defend yourself. But yeah, let's let's check check these guys out. Here we go, right in the action. They're throwing wild punches. One guy, tank top guy, trips and falls. They're throwing wild haymakers. Pink shorts here does hit a little bit of a double leg. It's not not terrible. Um, they have some friends who are intervening and trying to separate them. And that was a very very short uh, skirmish that we kind of witnessed right there. But you can kind of tell everybody's really tired. They're they're exhausted. This guy's he's trying to do that's almost an arm bar almost. I don't know if that's accidental position or if he's had any training. But um yeah. That did kind of look like an arm bar. So that might have been, yeah, a little bit of some grappling use here by pink shorts. Terrible stand up. He drops here. Looks like he hits a little bit of a double leg from a standing position. Doesn't drop a knee. Stays on top. That was actually not bad, technically. He was in a good position to finish. Then this girl pulls him away. He grabs the arm. You know, it, this might have gone a whole lot differently if the girls weren't, weren't pulling on him. You know, but this could be an example, too, for, for you guys. You know, there's people intervening. Even if this guy was good with jujitsu or whatever he knew, and he was able to get to a finishing position with a serious armbar threat, there were those girls there could have started kicking him in the face. <laughs> they could have had something in their purse. I told the story once before of my friend who got hit in the head with a purse and was beating a guy up, bled all over. That could happen here too. Like even if he's got the upper hand with the armbar. If you got other people around you, you're not all that safe. You're better off keeping your cool and getting away. Stay away. You don't need to be there. These guys didn't win any trophy. There's no award. They got some lumps, some bumps, some bruises. Maybe a little bit embarrassed. Could have, could have happened. Could have, really bad things could have happened. They could have fallen into the cars. Cars could have hit them. Their, the, the girlfriends or other people around could have been malicious type people who wanted to hurt people. It's just not worth it. Would they win? Seriously. Would they accomplish? We we got some entertainment. That was kind of fun to watch. It was kind of fun to watch, I, I got to admit. But why are, you, why are you giving that away for free, man? If you want to fight, join a gym. Join a gym, spar. Maybe do smoker. Maybe take an amateur fight or two. Do some amateur competitions. And then go pro. If you're a fighter, if you're tough, you're a tough guy, you want to fight, do it. Otherwise, 
You may uh, just be somebody else's comedy reel, or you could be in jail, or or worse. <laughs> right? It's not worth it. It's just not worth it. You could get armbarred. You could get armbarred at festival by pink shorts here. You want that to happen? Go to the description below. Follow the links. All right, guys. Use my programs. Don't let this happen to you. Don't let this happen to you. Be in shape. Be strong. Know how to fight. Right? It's it's minimal requirement to uh, thriving in your life. Money, muscles, game, frame. Learn how to fight. <laughs> All right? Thanks for watching, guys. I uh, hope you learned a little bit of something there. Uh, that looked like a silly flop around fight the first time I watched it through, but it looks like pink shorts might have had a little bit of training in there. Uh, great example of how a little bit of knowledge and a little bit of training can go a long way. Um, this guy, pink shorts, is actually able to hit a decent double leg without dropping to a knee, put himself in good position, and he was in a, a good top position and a good finishing position when the girls pulled him away. So a little bit of training will go a long way, but also remember this isn't a controlled environment. Or you have other people around you. You don't know what's going to happen. It's just not worth it. You're better off disengaging. Get away. Go away. Find something fun to do. <laughs> go somewhere where you can have a good time. Okay? And that's, and that's not me speaking as somebody who's like, oh, I'm afraid to fight. I don't want to fight somebody. Oh, I'll get hurt. That's me understanding the dangers and the troubles of getting into a fight. If I want to fight somebody, I want to get paid. <laughs> I want to get paid for my efforts. I want to get paid for the bruises and the bones and all the shit that's going to get hurt in, in that fight. Okay? I'm going to get paid. So unless I'm fighting for my life or I'm fighting to defend my children or my family, it's not worth it. Okay? If I'm not fighting for one of those things, it's really just a waste of time. And you should have the same mentality. Should really have the same mentality. Get into the gym, man. You can battle in a safe environment and get it out of your system. It's great. It's great. Join a gym. Find some people you can try to kill each other and get some beers after. It's great. It's a great thing to have as a part of your life. <laughs> okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, make sure you do go to the description below, check the links, and uh, check out the programs on Gun Road. I got fitness and fighting stuff on there. Uh, more stuff is coming down the pipe. I've got other s seminars and things that I've recorded and I've got to edit and put out. Thanks for watching. Like, share, tell your friends, tell your family. Keep everybody safe. It's not okay to be illiterate. It's not okay to not know how to fight. Simple as that. I'll check you guys later.